The London and North Eastern Railway Class B1 is a class of steam locomotive designed by Edward Thompson for medium mixed traffic work. It was introduced as a part of Thompson's initiative to standardise and modernise the locomotive fleet of the London and North Eastern Railway, following his appointment as the chief mechanical engineer in 1941, succeeding Nigel Gresley. This move marked a shift from Gresley's approach of developing new locomotive types only as needed, which, although economically prudent, resulted in a diverse fleet with few interchangeable parts. The Thompson B1 was conceptualised as a mixed traffic 460 type, initially designated as Class B, but was reclassified to Class B1 by the time the first locomotive, No. 8301 Springbok, was completed in 1942. This reclassification also led to the renaming of the pre-existing Class B1 to Class B18. The design of the B1 was based on the B17 Sandringham class, but with only two cylinders, and it aimed to replace a variety of older locomotive types, including heavy 440 passenger Atlantics and various 060 types. This standardisation process proved successful, with most of the intended replacements being realised. The B1 was the LNER's equivalent to the highly successful Great Western Railway Hall class and the LMS Black 5 two-cylinder mixed-traffic 460 locomotives. However, it had the additional requirement of being economical due to the financial constraints the LNR faced during and after the war. This led to a design that utilised existing patterns, jigs and tools to save on materials and labour with extensive use of welding instead of steel castings. The boiler was adapted from the Diagram 100A type fitted to the LNER Class B17 Sandringham 460s, but featured a larger grate area and increased boiler pressure to 225 pounds per square inch. The design was simplified in 1942, especially in the areas of the cab, running plate and steam pipe casings to facilitate easier maintenance, construction and standardisation, a necessity given the wartime conditions. The first 41 B1s were named after antelope species, earning them the official nickname Antelope Class, although they were also colloquially known as Bongos, after B1 number 8306 Bongo. The B1s were versatile, operating across the LNER network and later the BR Eastern and Northeastern regions, where they quickly gained popularity for their performance on top-link workings such as the East Anglian, the Broadsman and the Fenman. They were also a common sight on other routes, including those in Scotland, West Yorkshire and East Yorkshire, replacing various older locomotive types and handling a wide variety of service types. Despite their success, the B1s were criticised for their ride quality. The two-cylinder layout, although providing good starting power and hill-climbing abilities, resulted in significant hunting effects, making them less comfortable for passengers than the B-17S they replaced. Nevertheless, the introduction of the B-1s was necessary, as the LNER was operating many engines past their economic lifespan. The B-1s began to be withdrawn from service in November 1961, with the last three being retired in September 1967. Seventeen withdrawn B-1s were converted to stationary boilers for heating coaching stock between 1963 and 1966, but were all retired by 1968. Two B1s, No. 1264 and No. 61306, renamed No. 1306 Mayflower, have been preserved, with the former being the only London and North Eastern Railway locomotive to reach Barry Scrapyard and later restored to running condition. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel.